call it 24. Cheated on my bitch and got her back. Shit, I feel like cut my plug. Got a ball spot in his head like Janelle. I got twin. You know, I was trying to make a cool little montage intro to the video by making, you know, my little mass gainer protein shake for breakfast. But I forgot to wash the dishes last night. And now I got to wash it. And wait another hour or two before I can have my morning protein shake. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, fucking bitch. But welcome back to another episode, a new series of the book. God damn! But yes, welcome back to a new series of the bulk episodes. What the fuck did I just say? Welcome back to a new bulk episode of the series, um, Road to 220. Um, that might be changing soon. You know, I'm getting close to 220, um, but I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like, I've really been watching, like, bodybuilding videos and just, you know, people on TikTok that actually have experience and know what the fuck they're talking about. You know, they always say, you know, you shouldn't be, you know, doing a cut and bulk every, like, six couple months, whatever. And, you know, that is true when you really think about it because for natural lifters, it's really hard to, like, I wouldn't say hard, but it's harder to, you know, keep putting on size and getting stronger and stronger because, you know, over time we start to reach that genetic limit, whatever, and the progress isn't, you know, as much as when we first started with the newbie gains. But I don't know, bro. I kind of want to keep bulking. I mean, I don't know what to do, bro. Because I'm not going to lie, I kind of want to get into the bodybuilding scene because you know how, like, Anthony Montello, like, you know, he did all this. He did his thing with Gymshark, you know, had his good videos whatever and then he transitioned into bodybuilding he's doing that now that's what that's what that's what i kind of want to do but i kind of want to start i wouldn't say now but like in the next year or so because look i know i have good ass genetics like I, i'm strong as shit right now um i wouldn't say strong as shit but you know i'm pretty strong um you know I've, i think i have really good shape um like i said good genetics if i keep putting on size and just focus on that dude i can be a fucking monster bro and then later down the road, I can start taking shit. Um, if I actually have the money for like a good coach and then, you know, start getting my blood work and all that shit. Because if I started taking, or if I try taking it myself, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about or putting in me. Because I know nothing when it comes to that shit. But, you know, I got a couple people that know about that shit that can help me. But, yeah, I don't know what to do, bro. But shit, in the meantime, <laughs> new haircut. Wait, fuck. Uh, can you focus, please? That'd be nice. Um, hello. Can you focus now? Thank you. In the meantime, uh, new haircut alert. Hey, good. I'm trying to fuck you and your friend with this haircut. Too. Barbara say you want a band for this haircut. What the fuck? What? Oh, yeah, you don't even got to say nothing. I know that shit hard. <laughs> Side profile. Certified. No, it is not a fucking mullet. I have a mohawk. It's not a mullet. Mo you know what I'm saying? Like I said earlier, it's still in the morning. So, um, I think this will be the first video ever during the series that I actually give you guys a real weight update because every time I do the weight update, it's like in the middle of the day and, you know, I've, I've ate a lot and it's not, you know, my, like my real weight, but right now I haven't ate anything. I literally woke up like 20 minutes ago. So we're going to check on the weight right now. Let's go see. Watch. Watch. All right. All right. We are sitting at. Oh, okay, okay. So like I said before, my weight, you know, really fluctuates because I'm not tracking, you know, my exact calories. And the other day, um, I was actually at 221 night weight. Like my for my last meal, I was 221. Um, that was definitely, you know, my heaviest. But like I said, um, I want to get to like at least 225 um, midday weight, you know, so when I, when I cut, if I cut, I don't know if I'm cutting it. <laughs> Uh, but yes, as the title, you know, says, I just, I don't, oh, oh, wait, wait, can you focus, please? Can you focus, please? Can you focus? Thank you. I just really don't know, bro. Like, obviously, you know, I want to cut and it would, it would start attracting, you know, a lot more attention on social media and would help me blow up bigger. But, okay, so let me, guys, let me know. Let me know for real. Should I do, should I cut and then do a proper lean bulk? 
when I'm done cutting so that way I keep the vascularity but over time keep getting bigger or should I just keep bulking up to like 230, 235 and then do the same thing or I've seen some of you guys say do a recomp um I mean I want to do that like how Seuss does it and everything, but you have to remember that I'm like way bigger, not like like muscle wise, but I'm way fatter. I have a high higher fat percentage. So for me to do a recomp, I feel like it would take like so long for me to go down to like a pretty, you know, lean size, if that makes sense. But anyways, um, also in the title about this video, I have a new split. Um, it's, I wouldn't say it's too new. Basically what I'm doing now is the combined split of push pull legs and the arm and the oh shit Ugh. I'm doing the oh fuck me god damn I hate these fucking cats oh shit Whew. my bad guys but basically I'm doing the combined split of the push pull leg split and the Arnold split so um usually it would be push pull legs um arms and shoulders chest and back legs but you guys know I do my legs at the beginning of my week so basically what i do is legs push pull legs arms and shoulders chest and back now for today will be my last um pull day for the end of the week because next week this would be chest and back but yeah um i'm gonna go over my split right now because i actually stayed up pretty late right now uh, making it because i'm really trying to focus on progressive overload right now because since i'm not posting workouts anymore on my instagram i can actually finally focus on doing the same workouts, progressive overload, you know, all that. So, my first quad focus leg day, barbell squats, still kind of focusing on the power building. Um, quad focus, got some squats in there, leg press, single leg, leg extensions, you know, you know, lateral work. Then we got some barbell RDLs in there for hamstring work. I really need to buy some uh, lifting straps because my grip plays a big role in like doing RDLs and you know, my back days. Because I can do RDLs with fucking 315 or 405, like dead ass. But the first thing that gives out is my grip. Like, I fucking hate it. Next, we got um, my heavy push day. I'm still focusing on, you know, trying to bring up my bench press. We got barbell bench, 3x3. Three three. And then this is overall, you know, just a heavy day. Not doing too much volume. Um, dumbbell shoulder press, 3 times 8 Close grip bench press, working on that lockout. Tricep strength. Incline dumbbell bench press, just another variation of, you know, bench pressing. And then we got some heavy side raises and then weighted dips, three by five. For my pull day, first pull day would be lat focused. We got single arm lat focused pull downs. Um, I'm trying to do a lot of unilateral work when it comes to uh, my back training because I don't know if it's from me doing deadlifts with the mixed grip for so long, but um, I do have a like major lat imbalance. I, I, I wouldn't say imbalance, but I can spread my right lat so much more out than my left one. And when I take uh, back pictures and doing the front lat pose, whatever, you know, you can see it like the separation, like when I'm doing a lat spread, you know how, you know, it spreads, nigga. Basically like my right lat goes like all the way out here and my left stops like right here, like it's bad. Um, so yeah, hopefully that will bring up over time, but you know, just doing some lat work in there. And then for my upper back movement, we got dual dumbbell rows, um, bringing the chest over the back, or bringing the chest over the seat, getting the extra stretch on the upper back, keeping the elbows flared out to better align with the muscle fibers of the upper back. And then moving on the biceps, we got some um, inclined dumbbell curls, working the long head, some preacher curls, some easy bar curls, and then hammer curls and forearm work. Next leg day, we got stiff leg RDLs. Um, I like this because I find when I do normal RDLs, um, like I said, my grip plays a big role. And when I get to the bottom of that movement and try to, you know, snatch it back up, since I'm not touching the ground, um, I feel like it's a lot harder for my grip. So with stiff-legged RDLs, it's basically the same thing, but you're touching the ground, so I get that extra momentum boost, I guess you can say. So then we got seated leg curls and then dumbbell RDLs. Um, and then we got good mornings. Usually, um, I haven't done good mornings in a long time. Just because when I first started doing them, my form was like pretty bad and I had a hard time feeling it in my um, hamstrings and just fucked up my lower back. But I want to get back into that for another hamstring and lower back movement. And then for our only quad movement that day, we got Smith Machine front squats. Ooh, those are fucking killer. 
and then of course finishing off with seated calf raises. Now for calf raises, I think I'm gonna start doing them almost every day. I know it sounds crazy, but there's a point in time where I was doing them every day and I did see some pretty good progress, but I had to start with uh, calf raises on like every workout. So, and then we got our arms and shoulder day. I know this looks like a shit ton of volume, but it's only four workouts per muscle group. So four triceps, four biceps, and um, four shoulder workouts. So starting off with Smith Machine close grip bench press, working a little bit lower rep range there. Some simple dumbbell bicep curls for overall bicep growth. Then we got some dips, slowed and controlled. Not to mention, except for my heavy days, I've been really uh, fixing my tempo, not letting my ego get the best of me. Because as you guys know, I like to you know go heavy and just push out the weight. But um, it's crazy because when I was doing my push day yesterday, even though I was doing chest um, as part of my like last workout, it's crazy because usually I can do like 100s or 110s and you know push them out. But then my nigga, I was doing 50s. Like it's crazy when you change the tempo and actually you know try to get the most out of your rep. It's crazy, bro. You gotta drop the weight significantly. You can't let your ego get to you. But um, yeah, then we got some spider curls working on the peaks, overhead rope extensions, long head work. Um, I'm personally trying to work more my long head because it is uh, lacking compared to my lateral head right here. I do not have like any long head, so I'm gonna try and bring that up. And then uh, moving on to shoulders, starting off with side raises, trying to get that width. Uh, you know rear delt work and then I'll include my shoulder press Later in the workout because I don't really need you know any major front delt work, whatever They're already overworking you do push movements. So I'm focusing more on the width and rear delts Then finally we got our chest and back and this will be upper back focus I never start with chest anymore because I'm starting to realize you know It's a big strong point on me and I don't really need to bring that up anymore. So starting off with some heavy barbell rows Working in a six to eight rep range. Then we got some wide grip pull-ups. Of course, you know, it's a really good upper back builder. Keep Trying to keep the elbows flared out to better align with the upper back fibers as well. Um, wide grip cable rows. Once again, wide grip, lat, or not lat fibers, upper back fibers. And then we're moving on to chest. Keeping it simple. Like I said, I don't want to do too much for chest. I already have a good chest. I'm not trying to, you know, make it, you know, too much bigger. If that makes sense. So just simple flat dumbbell bench press. Low to high cable flies for incline work, and then incline Smith Machine bench press, still working on the upper chest. Now Sunday is uh, my mobility days. I did make a video on this before, so go check that out if you haven't yet. I'll put somewhere on the fucking screen. You got treadmill 15 minutes, just for a light pace, just trying to get some blood flow in the lower body. Jefferson curls, working on um, my lower back strength. Kettlebell hip raises, because for me personally, my hip flexes are pretty weak. But I've been bringing them up now. Um, pause kettlebell hip squats. Pause kettlebell squats. Um, you know, I, I saw a TikTok once and, you know, I've been trying to improve my squat mobility. And they were like, you know, if you want to improve your squat mobility, just train the actual movement. And it does make, you know, so much more sense than doing all this other bullshit. Um, and I've been doing these pause kettlebell squats, just holding it for 30 to 60 seconds. For a couple sets and it's increased my mobility like drastically and you know it's helped so much and then we got external cable rotations just trying to um strengthen my rotator cuffs and then just full body stretch getting ready for the week now if i had the money with the way i train i would definitely go to the chiropractor get deep tissue massages like once a week or a couple times a month but can't do that right now so that's what we're gonna do but yeah that's the new split um i'm kind of excited for this like I said, I just haven't trying to gain, you know, some crazy size. Um, but yeah, I don't know if I should keep bulking. I mean, it would be a smarter move, but I just want to see what I look like when I cut. But yeah, I, I, I think I'm gonna keep bulking to. I think I'm gonna go to 230, 235, and I'll see what I'm looking like from there because I know I'm gonna be fat as shit from there. And yeah, it's gonna be crazy. Hey, can someone tell me why the fuck is so fucking cold in Florida right now? Like, holy shit, bro. But it's pretty gloomy out today. Um, like I said, it's still early in the morning, so um, I'm actually gonna hit my pool workout pretty early because the gym does close at seven, but I think I'm gonna go out like two or three when it's pretty dead, so that way you know I can film and not get in anybody's way because I kind of feel bad when I'm filming, but oh my God, it's cold as fuck. But I'll get back to you guys when it's almost time for pool day, and yeah.
shit. Anyways, peep the haircut if I didn't already mention it. <laughs> about, about. So yes, it is later in the day. Um, I was, like I said, gonna go earlier. But I was like, eh, let me just go at night. The, you know, the vibe is way better. And it, it might be a little bit busy, but, you know, it's whatever. But we're gonna go crazy soon. I just gotta finish taking this shit, get dressed. I already have my little pre-workout meal, some Greek yogurt, oats, and some uh, fruit. Just to get some carbs in me. And uh, gonna get the Himalayan salt down. You know, lately I've been, like, I've been way more hydrated during my workouts because... As crazy as it seems, I used to like never drink water during my workouts. Like I always had to make myself because I was like never thirsty. But now what I do is I keep a water bottle and just put a little bit of hip, uh, pink Himalayan salt in there to help regulate blood flow throughout the whole workout. And dude, my workouts have been so much better. Like it's crazy. But let me get dressed and uh, I'll meet you guys when I'm off the shitter. Extra, drop a bag on your head, kill you, then buy myself a Tesla. Keep hollering, I'm a rapper, say that same shit to the detective. AR 15, Glock 19, 7 points, 6 tools, etc. Never caught no corona, cause every day sipping medical. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Watch out for envy and jealousy. Fit check, fit check. You know, I got the yellow. You know, we got the young LA beanie with the hoodie, the mood hoodie. I guess you could call me little TJ, cuz. I'm not in the mood, right? No, I'm not even gonna say a bad joke. All right, now we got the TLF pants. Pizza the dump truck. Whoa, 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 hey, 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 hey. Holy shit, bro, I gotta stop doing RDLs. Then we got the Prestos with the white socks. I'm about to go crazy today. You know, I wasn't really feeling it, not gonna lie. It's a ugly ass, gloomy ass day in Florida right now. And it's raining, so like, it's all cloudy and shit. It's making me all depressed and shit. Make me wanna fucking listen to Lil Peep and shit. But, we gonna kill this workout. Highly motivated right now. I'm about to go crazy, bro. Alright, enough of that bullshit. Got everything we need. Um, I just gotta get my water, um, get everything in the bag, and I'll meet you guys after the workout. We're gonna kill this shit, but we're gonna go crazy, nigga. I'm oh, gone.
It is game over, bro. Oh my god. Ugh. Come on, I'm starving. Just open the fucking bags. Just come on, come on, come on. Oh. Oh. Oh my god. I'm how to tear this apart. Hey guys. Appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. That's gonna do it. I'm about to, oh my god, I'm about to destroy this shit. But overall, great workout. Starting off with some heavy barbell rows, moving into um, the Nautilus pull down, having the elbows a little bit more flared out to hit the upper back fibers more. Then moving on to, um, dude, I can't even fucking focus right now. Like, I need to eat. Fuck going over the workout. I'm about to tear this shit apart. See you guys next week. Goodbye. It's the gold man, it's the gold